husband and wife, different opinion, parent and child, different opinion, but radiating that energy that both of us are right, but different. What will happen? Both of us are right, but different. So we will be different, the opinion will be different, but the energy will be respect. And when the energy is respect, we may never agree with the other person's opinion, but we respect each other. Because we say, your opinion is different from me, but it's right for you, not for me. Like, white is right for me, but it's right for me. Blue, black, red, green is right for you. You will never wear white, I will never wear blue, red, but we can live together. Possible? Yes? But accepting that this color is right for you, this color is right for me, we'll never wear the same color, but we respect each other's choices. If we can start respecting each other's choices in colors, we will have to start respecting each other's choices in who they are as a person. And then say, we are different, not right and wrong. Because once we say we are different, we're creating the energy of respect. And once there's an energy of respect, everything else can take care of after that. If I create this thought, how can you wear blue, black, red? You're wrong. So what's the energy I'm going to get from there? How boring wearing white every day. <laughs> no color in your life. See the energy we're giving each other. You are wrong, you are wrong. But we are family, we love each other. I love you, but you are wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can't love someone whom we believe is wrong. The minute I say you're wrong, I've radiated disrespect. I'm not accepting you. Each soul is carrying different sanskars. Sanskars means habits. Not habit in what we are doing, but habit in the way we are thinking. Creating anger is a habit. It's a sanskar. Similarly, we have created many, many sanskars. And spirituality gives us the answer as to why we are the way we are. How old are you? It's okay. Huh? <laughs> These are all old, old belief systems. No, I should not tell my age. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Never stop to think. Everybody says we should not share our age, so I should not share my age. Why? Kuch bhi na? Hanji. How old? <laughs> How old? Turning 50 next month. Beautiful, lots of blessings. Turning 50 next month. See? Now, what is turning 50 next month? And who is turning 50 next month? One is the age of this dress that I'm wearing. So everyone shout out the age of this dress that you're wearing. Six months, one year, somebody could be wearing a new dress today, so one day old. So one is the age of this dress that I'm wearing, one is the age of this dress that I'm wearing. So what is turning 50 next month is this dress. So how old am I? What's the answer? So we don't know. 50 years, she's been wearing this dress. So all of you look at yourself. 50 years, I'm wearing this dress. Hundred years before that, another dress. Another hundred years in another dress. Another hundred years in another dress. Different dresses, body costume, different countries, different families, different situations, different experiences, different recordings on the soul. It's like a CD with so many songs, 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 songs. How many songs would be there on this CD? thousand years, two thousand years, five thousand years, how many songs on this CD? 
Now one day, two CDs got married. <laughs> now look at the CD if they're sitting right next to you. <laughs> Some songs similar, but a lot of songs completely different. Sanskar, nature. And then we look at each other and we say, how can you be like this? <laughs> and they look at us and say, how can you be like this? and then starts a journey of trying to copy our songs onto their CD. Yes? Are we clapping because we are trying to copy or we are clapping now because now we understand that their songs are going to be different. Now while we are trying to do this copying onto each other's CD, in a year or two a third CD comes into our house. And nine months, both of us waited, thinking it's going to be a blank CD. <laughs> yes, and we kept planning. How many of you received a blank CD? <laughs> that CD came full. We look at a child and we say, baby, one day old, one year old, one day old, one year old costume. How old is that soul? And so that soul is not going to come like a blank CD. That soul has carried its experiences, its nature, its sanskars from many, many past births. Now, look at what all is happening to people and suddenly they leave this costume and they come into your house, baby. and we want them to be our way. Yes. Ah. Mm. <laughs> thousand years of my recording different from thousand years of your recording and we come together and we say, you should be my way. Is it fair? Is it fair? So from today, Expectation is natural, is what we believed. And which means we believed that every CD should have the same songs. And now we understand that it's not possible for every CD to have same songs. So what is natural? Expectation or or two words. Expectation, second word, acceptance. So what is natural? What is natural? Acceptance is natural. That I understand this soul, this CD, many births, many experiences, different nature. Knowledge, information, wisdom, understand. Now would I expect them to have the same sanskars as me? No, I accept that they will have different sanskars. There was a family who came to our center last week and they have a five-year-old son who fears water. And the mother is a very good swimmer, the father is a national level swimmer. So obviously both of them had planned And then they will say, naturally, we want our child to be a swimmer, naturally. And then otherwise they will say, obviously my son should be a swimmer. So we leave no options there. And the child refuses to go near a swimming pool. And then the mother said, you know what I did last Sunday? I prepared him the entire morning. Today we are going swimming. Today we are going swimming. Today we are going swimming. And then at four o'clock when we reached the pool, he went up to there and then he ran away. She said, I got so angry. I took him there, gave him and put him in the pool. <laughs> she said, everyone can swim. How can my son not swim? And I just looked at her and I said, do you know six years back there was a flood in that city? She said, yeah. I said, this soul left the body in that flood. <laughs> she looked at me and she says, you can see all these things? I said, yes. 
But you know what happened in 30 seconds? She said, obviously he will fear water then. I said, yes, obviously. <laughs> Understanding, knowledge will shift the way we look at people, the way we think about people and the way we start accepting people. Because if we don't have this knowledge, we are criticizing people for who they are. We criticize our children sometimes. We nag them for who they are. And even more risky, we compare them with their siblings or with other children. With a completely different CD who has carried completely different songs of thousand words. And we say, look at him, if he can do it, why can't you? These are very little, little things which we call natural but which deplete inner power. Now look at this five-year-old boy already in pain because of his past experiences, power depleted, comes into this new family and is getting criticized for this sanskar. What will happen to the battery? So instead of helping the child to overcome that sanskar, we are criticizing the child for that sanskar. Why? Because we are not using this knowledge. Soul on a journey, lot of sanskars. I accept them as they are.